How imminent yes. do you think an invasion of Ukraine is and what evidence do you have for that? Well, I think the evidence is pretty clear. You've got uh, about 130,000 troops massing on the Ukrainian border. There's all sorts of other uh, signs that show that there are serious preparations for uh, an invasion. And we've got to we've got to respect that. We've got to we've got to realise that this is a very very dangerous, difficult situation. We are on the edge of a of a precipice. But there is still time for President Putin to to step back. And what we're urging is for everybody to engage in dialogue, uh, for a conversation uh, to take place, and uh, for the Russians to avoid what I think everybody, certainly everybody in the UK, can see would be a disastrous mistake, disastrous for, for Russia. Do you think an invasion could be hours, days away? Uh, the signs are, as you've heard from uh, President Biden, that uh, they're at least planning uh, for something that could take place as early as in, uh, the next 48 hours. Uh, that is extremely uh, concerning where we, what we need to, to do is make sure that uh, President Putin understands the economic consequences, the political consequences of doing this. And I think what needs to happen is that the world needs to learn the lesson of 2014. If you remember, Russia took uh, eastern uh, Ukraine, they took Crimea, uh, but we didn't really do enough to divest, to move away from dependence on Russian hydrocarbons and what I think all European countries need to do now is you know get Nord Stream out of the bloodstream get the get that uh, yank out that uh, that uh, hypodermic drip feed of Russian hydrocarbons that is keeping uh, so many European economies going we need to find alternative sources of energy and we need to get ready to impose some very very severe economic consequences on on Russia. Do you agree with the Defence Secretary that there is a whiff of Munich?